Hello. Hello. There we go. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So, it's funny. <laughs> Somehow the microphone did not work. We just came why. off a meeting with our accountability couple and we were using our microphone and now it's not working. So, anyway, you will have to do with our computer audio. I hope you can hear us good yes. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Good to okay. see you all to, tonight for us, uh, whatever you are, Probably should be morning. Today for you. <laughs> Uh, or evening in Australia um, as well. So, um, welcome to our uh, bi weekly. Four, yes, bi weekly webinar. And uh, this is a webinar that we do for beginners, people who are coming in the journey and they want to uh, ask any question to us or anything that might be uh, a doubt or a challenge while you go through your modules. And this, for us, it's very important this because when you go through this, we are here to help in order to let you not do the mistake that we did that's it's so important for us and and we find we find so much gratitude in giving that as a value to to the members here um now today the call of the the the, the call that we are having is not going to have any training purpose sometimes we do training purpose and you might listen some a terminology that it doesn't is not really familiar to you it's completely out of the <laughs> the game uh, but slowly everything will make sense as you go through the the journey you will you will learn a lot this is a, a, a tremendous journey that we start back in 2018 and we have grown amazingly uh, and, and we can't express this uh, before we start with question and answer i would like to congratulate Genoveva with your fantastic uh, Amazon product. Uh, so sh share a little bit about it. Um, and now it seems like a big deal, right? Because it's Amazon's choice. And um, the brushes were on Amazon. As you, as you guys remember, we had so many times conversations and you helped me so much and you gave me so much power to believe in my things and my dreams. So I have the brushes there since... May, maybe two or three months like you, you remember when I launched the product yeah, so yeah, we do remember then I had to change many times the the advertisement strategies on Amazon because um is the same as with affiliate marketing you have to try different things to see what works and mm -hmm. not always the things which would work for other people would work for me um so I kept on changing and basically this product is my learning product where i'm trying to learn the most i can for amazon and how all this e-commerce e-com world works because there are you know many other things which, which you can do mm -hmm. um and yes somehow i was patient i kept on changing things and amazon decided that my brushes um they deserve to be amazon's choice i even didn't contact them to ask how exactly this happened i believe it's um algorithm thing where they think okay this product has very good reviews but i'm surprised because there are forty thousand sellers of brushes wow, wow. Forty thousand sellers in uk and it's um i would say very very competitive and i did my listing myself um you know, guys, we learn in SFM how to work with Canva. So I started to work with Canva. I did the, um, the listing myself. I did the wording myself where I'm not English. I had to ask people for help to translate some of the words. And I'm actually very happy and proud because it's not very often that a product is Amazon's choice. So Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so for sharing. Good. Thank That's you so for cool. sharing this. Are yeah, you having you know. more than one product on Amazon? At the moment, um, so I was ready to launch the second product, but we went out of the lockdown here in UK and I started my crazy shifts again. So uh -huh. I backed up. I was ready with everything, with the negotiation, with the price and everything. But um, it takes time and you have to be able to correspond date with China and to be able to send the product properly to Amazon and everything. So I backed up with this product and now I'm going to do another product which I'm going to invest more money in. Cool. What kind of brushes? They um, are artist brushes for painters. Okay. Okay. Very simple brushes. Like I actually wanted to choose something what is not expensive and what's going to be popular, could be used by children or adults or beginners, everything. So yeah, Good. well done. 
Fantastic so share, cool. Genevieve. So Fantastic, so happy. Absolutely. And how incredible is that? It's actually your first product. And then all of this. Do you do you feel um or do you see already a change in purchases based on being Amazon's choice or not? Like does um, it a difference in it's uh, this Amazon game is very funny. Even when your product is uh, called bestseller, uh, sometimes you don't really see a lot of more purchases. But for me, I started to have um, constant sa- sales. Let's say you know before it would be like maybe some some weeks you're gonna sell let's say ten, some weeks you won't sell. It it was it wasn't consistent. Now it's more consistent. But you know for me. Um, I'm going to move this brand, the Gmagine brand on Etsy here in UK, and yeah. I'm going to launch on Amazon product, which I can really make money with because um, my goal is to leave my job, as you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> and so, are, you, are you using drop shipping or are you sending the product out yourself? I'm, I'm sending it myself. Okay. I'm sending it myself. Even though um, on this journey, I learned a lot about drop shipping as well. And it seems like a very good model for people who want to start now and they still don't have knowledge how to build a brand. Um, it seems like drop shipping is actually less risky than having your own products. Mm-hmm. And it, it teaches you a lot how to advertise, which, guys, this is the game, seriously, like, it, it, everyone thought okay i'm gonna put the product on amazon and it's gonna start selling no no this is not exactly. yes. Yes. i'm now growing the instagram of the brushes as well if i want to be the gmagine brand i have to learn facebook ads maybe even i mean youtube is too big for for this type of things but instagram facebook definitely Mm, yes yes for absolutely sure. for sure thank you Genoveva. we wow, really appreciate great that share. great yeah. absolutely congratulations you thank you guys because you gave me so much hope and i, I was so confused at the beginning and now i'm like okay okay it, yeah. it works you see <laughs> but this is the beautiful part that that i remember when you came in in the beginning and you were like oh my god what to do which which street to take where to go who to contact you know and look at you now you have your uh, and brushes on on Amazon selling and even being Amazon's first choice so that's that's really incredible yeah. that's a big win definitely so can't wait to see your next products and see where you're going it's amazing and hopefully soon you can you can say bye bye to that <laughs> job the, of yours yes you know so that's yeah good. one thing that I really noticed a lot that uh, was part of our journey too and many others is overwhelming overwhelming when you come to something new is so uh, actually. Uh, is, is, is the right way to go through. I think everyone will go through that part of uh, being unsure if what is, what is the right things for me, right? What mm-hmm. is the right thing that I, not only in terms of making money, but what is the right thing that will uh, give me the right motivation, the right drive to make it happen regardless. And this is what gi- is giving everyone the drive, the action and relentless uh, uh, actions every single day. Show up is the key to everything, whenever you want to change. Mm. Uh, so here I encourage everyone who is on the call and who will watch the their, their recording that you are the one who make this happen for yourself. Mm. No one is gonna do it for you. You are the one who make it a shift in your life. If you want to make it, here is the vehicle. You, you go for it, 100%. Um, so for everyone who is new or everyone, any, anyone else who, who wants to have a question uh, answer from us, if, see if we can guide you to the best possible resources, feel free to raise your hand or uh, un- unmute Jump yourself. Up. Anyone, don't rush. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Give a moment. I can't imagine, Barbara, you don't have any questions. What's happening? <laughs> um, yes, actually, I'm just, making my service but actually i'm like i was about to skip that webinar but i wanted to attend because i have to be at two o'clock with my daughters at the birthday party so it's really working mom scheme on me (laughs) 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 so i'm listening to you guys in the kind of background very very congrats uh, to genoveva if i'm pronouncing it well really happy for you and it's also give me kind of courage, you know, in the future, I see that there's a huge opportunity because that was my first 
thought about when I started, you know, was the kind of e-commerce symptom for me yes. a bit easier. Uh, but at the end of the day, from what I'm hearing and uh, and observing, it's actually not as easier. It's uh, it's kind of the meeting point is marketing between what I'm trying to do now. So I feel marketing and e-commerce. So so we all need to know how to sell our product and or not sell maybe to present, you know, yeah, about needs of customer and all yes. this stuff. So, so uh, yeah, I had yesterday actually long, nice conversation with David. That's why I am silent today. <laughs> but otherwise, that's I would why I understand. Both. I understand. No yeah. problem. But that's yeah. that, that's really understandable. No worries, Barbara. Actually, yeah, but... it's a uh, it's uh, a very nice to to hear all of. You know you that are going through through the journey and you are answering already yourself the more you are in the journey you already give yourself answers that the bridging thing is marketing and to give you a perspective and an overview how marketing has helped us not only in the digital world but offline world so mm -hmm. i have learned a lot i have grown myself and uh, and caroline a lot in terms of also how to communicate with people. We, as a, as a profession, we are artists, we are dancers. We didn't know how to, uh, if you can say- Market ourselves. Market ourselves, <laughs> you know? How can I, I, I'm the product. I need to promote myself, right? In terms of uh, lessons, uh, teaching around the world, traveling uh, and give uh, demonstrations, competition. And all of this is a, it's a, different business, but you still need to market. You are, you are engaging with other people and, and there is a human contact. So I, I, this is the one thing that I have learned through marketing is how to market anything. It's not, it has to be digital, but you need to know how, how to do it. And then you can apply in anything you want to do it. Mm. So the, how SFM has helped us is that since, since day one, we joined in, we, I, I wanted to find something that I could do from my laptop because I was so busy traveling around the world. I have to find something that I could carry with me. I couldn't have a fixed place where I stay and I do business there. No, I wanted to, to have the freedom to, to bring it with me. So the laptop lifestyle was the things that was needed for me. And I found this FM. I saw, I saw it a huge potential through affiliate marketing. I started with that. I grow affiliate marketing and then I, I went all in with them. I become partners of them and uh, we build our own small digital agency. Caroline uh, has built their own side business for uh, a, a course online in, in dancing. And uh, um, we and now we are websites. That's even more interesting. Exactly. Actually. We jump as well. To, to a kind of acting as a digital agency, we also provide website services. So we build websites for, for, for a, a small business that are really need help in acquiring new clients and eventually with advertising part as well. And- uh, You know, actually, can I say something? Yes. Can I jump in? So actually um, I had a very interesting uh, talk with one of my students in, in ballroom dancing. Now he is a famous photographer um, he used to take pictures of Michael Jackson and Ronald Reckon and all of these like huge stars and presidents when they used to come to Hong Kong. And uh, he has now, he then developed his business from, actually, he says, if you're a people's person, you will do well in business. Because basically what he did, he started being a photographer, became a high level in that. And then basically he changed his service based on what the market needed. So then he started to do a uh, product development like pictures printing for other photographers and then he went into the business of actually printing uh, visual marketing for other like for big brand names now like Dior or all of these like huge names he's the one who did all of the printing of all of the um, Olympic big games. posters of all of the stadiums in Olympic games in Tokyo this year and uh, he has a big business both in Tokyo and in Hong Kong now he actually came to me and because I said that we're doing online marketing and, and we do this as beside our dancing career. And he just, oh, actually, I'm quite interested in that. So can you imagine this guy who is used to rely on his, um, how do you say, clientele of just knowing him word of mouth. Now he's interested in our service on how to actually get online. So this is quite interesting. So basically now I will make his website. 
uh, for him and basically how to get him all the way online and then do B2B marketing rather than C2C mm -hmm. marketing. So this, this is just how can you actually uh, change your life by, by getting all of these opportunities which comes to you like that because you know how to speak and you know exactly what another person needs, right? So this is just interesting how to see how this whole thing is developing into something like crazy. And if you really believe and if you keep pushing and keep taking action, which is the number one thing, you can you can really create so many opportunities for you just with the people that you know and already like like that would say not only online but also in person. Yeah. So really uh, encourage you to yeah to keep taking action. Yes, that's for sure is what priority number one now. Mm um once again any question that comes down otherwise i keep talking i don't want to stop anyone for asking <laughs> questions we can talk a lot we can talk a lot by the way so don't worry um so it seems like we're okay good. if anyone has any questions just don't hesitate to interrupt yes it's okay please do that <laughs> so anyway um maybe we should do keyword research then shall we yeah i think we should okay. so you remember a few weeks ago we started to we did a lot with um um how to actually launch your first youtube campaign and we went through how to set it up and go through with um like in details yes right? so we did the personal training uh we even did some one-on-one with, -on -one with francis yeah. as well launch his campaign and uh um the the thing here is uh, to connect also to the fact of e-commerce yet after three years we haven't started our e-commerce journey which is something that we have on our list to do but we know that it's a it's a, a journey on itself that we want to take uh when, when we we feel ready because it'll, it'll, we have a lot on the on the plate right now No, and exactly what what also gina's actually shared in the beginning in the end of the day e-commerce is as well marketing right so you need to know how to place a product in front of the right audience right and this is essentially also what we do in affiliate marketing so it's it's all about understanding which product or service <laughs> that you are providing and how to put it in front of the right audience and i think that this is very important when you do also why we also want to talk about keyword research is because actually no matter which type of media that you choose to let's say go into either if it's uh, instagram or facebook or if it's blogging or if it's youtube uh, channel or whatever it is that you want to go into you have to understand that yes you can share what you believe in and yes you can share what you what you prefer or whatever but you also have to understand that actually you need to first find out what does the market needs right so what does the people need and then you based your service or your product on that so like this you know you will be more successful and you know that you will have actually clients to sell to because if you just start up by saying let's say i'll just take your example gina okay i wanna i wanna make brushes because i like to paint you know so because i like to paint other people like to paint too it's not necessarily the case yeah, so there, it might be the case, but it's not necessarily the case. So we always need to find out first, okay, what are people actually searching for online? And then based on that, we can create our content or we can create our product or we can create our service. Yes. So to give you an overview, one of my our clients, he's preparing a course for investing in property from in, in UK from overseas. And he want to teach people how to do that. OK, um, he he's one one guy who trained he trained himself through Robert Kiyosaki, if uh, I think everyone here knows who it is. <clears throat> and basically, he started with the idea in mind that he want to do this regardless. Now, we started last November. It's almost uh, coming towards one year. And he now realized that uh, I, I can see that I have done the other way around. I should have first uh, see what they wanted and then create a service for them right but at the end of the day he he take the personal responsibility because he's a massive action taker absolutely i i love to work with 100%. him because he's really committed and wherever he we put the deadline we accomplish by then and then move on the next and so on so um he's now growing his youtube channel since january 2021 and uh, keep on providing value to to the, to the possible audience and possible customer 
I think one of the biggest uh, um, examples you can talk about is the fact that he wanted to do a campaign based on BNO passport. So BNO passport is British, British nationals overseas. And a lot of people from Hong Kong, they have this British BNO passports. So he was very determined. I want to do this. David has said, mm, maybe it's not really, we need to research. We need to check if it's, if it's a good way to go on it. He decided he wanted to try and that's okay. He can, he can try, no problem. But actually it, it turned out that that campaign, of course, did not make a good uh, result because it wasn't what people are actually searching for. So we showed him all the details, <laughs> all the keyword research beforehand. Um, uh, so this is just to uh, kind of show you that if you have an idea that you think, oh, this is going to be so good, you know, it might not be the case if you haven't done the proper research first. Yes. So this so is basically the point. I that's wanna why I want to share with you my screen and give you an example of anything. Uh, we, we can come up, up with ideas. So if I go to tools and settings, down here I have planning and keyword planner. By the way, this is- um, We are in Google Ads. Google Ads, for those <laughs> who never see something like this, don't we worry. We went in a quick, um, quick. You, 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 will, you will learn as you, as you go. Um, but let's see here. This is a discover new keywords. And I have in mind, let's say I have a business in, uh, in Hong Kong. So main language will be English. Let me write it's it. there. Oh. And uh, let's target directly Hong Kong, which is where we are based now. Okay, I say this. And assuming that you have a business like coffee, okay, so you are a small e commerce, you want to, you have a, the idea that you want to sell coffee um, in, in, in Hong Kong because you want to be a, an importer directly, you have the best Italian quality coffee and you want to sell- Of course Italian, right? <laughs> you want to sell to people um, your coffee. So what do you do is that you go and trying to see if there are actual research in that, in that area and space. And how you do that, you simply write coffee, maybe Italian coffee. We start directly with Italian coffee. By the way, all of these things is, of course, like if you can, you can just go ahead. Um, where once you go through the modules and everything, you will also understand like what is niche and what is avatar. So all of these things comes out based on who you are and what you are interested in. This is just an, a random example, but just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So you can do this inside Google AdWords. is is free to to open an account and then you can play around with 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 this. Uh, kind of keyword True, research. Yeah. I will give you also some tips that uh, I do as well. I use as well when I do researches, especially if I wanted to target people on YouTube platform or you want to target people on Facebook platform. OK, um, so you can see here that the research researches shows that Italian coffee has got 140 monthly searches in the last year. They might, you might find also in Italian espresso, that is a keyword that they've been using only 30, but there is a lot of competition. competition. It's very high. Um, but in this case, I always consider here that it has to be at least a minimum of... Um, no, it, de it depends, of course, also where it is that you are. If you are very specific with your geographic, then, of course, then the numbers will, will always be less. Yes. If you do, like, let's say, for example, I only want like a local business in only one area of Hong Kong, the monthly searches will be, of course, much, there, yes. much smaller, right? Yes. So, so it always depends also on a little bit about your geographics. But yeah, around the 100, uh, definitely, because otherwise... Uh, it's it will be a slow business if yes it's, if it's muscleish but this is very targeted right so you can in in one of the, the future campaign let's say i start this business and i create my e-commerce all the products are in stock and then i want to advertise it. i want to make sure that people coming through my shop i'm in the middle of sahara i need an highway where people pass through and see my shop otherwise it's just a shop without no people right so I make sure that I, I need to plan some advertising and every business need clients. And guess what? If you learn marketing, you can be eventually 
you're you are doing freelancing as you are providing new clients to new to new business to small business so this can be also an idea on how you can explore in 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 many different way your digital experience and digital journey mm. um but if i go broader here there is a, um different a different searches where it says coffee which is more of a broad keyword right it's not italian coffee but it's it's, it's very it's still coffee it's still in hong kong and you can see that it's a quite of a high <laughs> much higher with a low volume of competition but it's also very random let's say if you just do coffee like that and people they're only interested in the coffee from i don't know <laughs> yes so <laughs> then then you won't get this kind of so the more specific the better because the more uh, quality traffic you will get let's um, say i'm only interested in people that they want um coffee beans so i go here then i start to see it. okay this is a more of a niche inside the coffee and uh then you can you can this is a good number you start to see okay this is not bad maybe what i can do is that i can target directly that specific keyword since i'm a local business i want to sell only in hong kong i have my commerce i want to reach out to people then i need to choose the platform where do i want to uh, advertise do i want to go on facebook i want to want to go instagram youtube where are my audience where are, are, are those people right and uh, it's so important for for any small business to reach to open the to, to reach out to more people and sometimes word of mouth, yes, is still great, but we need to boost our business. We need to create more revenue. Everyone's want to grow, make sure that the business can run on, on itself over time, right? And uh, so this was a very quick way of if you showing only you. Rely, yeah, if you only rely on, on word of mouth, the thing is that, yeah, you, you will have an okay, let's say maybe outreach, but you won't be able to scale it and you won't be able to automize it, right? So people will constantly texting you uh, like, oh, can I order this? Oh, can I order this? And yes. you will basically be like constantly open for them. Whereas if, is if, is if you can do it online, it's much better because like this, you can automize everything, right? Um, so of course you want to have an okay amount of traffic um like if like david said if you have less than 100 searches per month then that's that's your cap right you can't scale it more than that because you can only get in front of those amount of people so of course you would you will want to have a higher uh, not too high other otherwise it won't show in front of them but at least uh, between the thousand and hundred i would say so you can see here if i go to youtube and i write coffee then those are also potential keyword that came can can come up in my mind. You see, shop music, music, no, um, coffee, coffee, <laughs> coffee, zero, coffee house. You start to see this is more related to music. Music. And why is that? Only music. It can be because YouTube recognized me as a guy who listens music on YouTube, which I do. <laughs> you know, I do a lot of music on YouTube. I, I listen a lot of, uh, yeah, and then sometimes comes advertising on, on top. And then I like to see, oh, let me see what this advertiser is doing, right? And then I take note of something that might be helpful for me to test it as well. Yeah. Um, but let's go back to the keyword. So uh, basically, of course, coffee, selling coffee on YouTube is maybe not the best idea because YouTube can be quite expensive to um, advertise on if you only have a small, small ticket product, right? If you mm -hmm. have a, if you have a high ticket product, go ahead. But if you only have a small ticket product like coffee would be, um, probably YouTube wouldn't be the right place to do it anyway. So yes. it doesn't really matter. So yeah, you want to do no, no okay. okay. So they, also, if you go to Google, right? Yeah. Another so platform. one platform that you can use is the Google ads that David showed before. You can also go to YouTube if you have a high ticket product like David just showed now. And now we will show you keyword research just on Google directly. Uh, let me see. Bye. Coffee beans on coffee. Don't you have the um, plugin like the? Where is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, open it. So I show you this. This so, is an additional. Um, it's a Chrome extension. Chrome extension where basically you can look for a potential keyword that is giving you already some data in regards to how many 
people are, have been look for this keyword in the in the recent month and how much it, it can cost and also um uh, longer tail yeah longer well. tail keywords as well and this is especially we use this a lot for our blogs um what before we start creating a blog always 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 do keywords research because um you want you will want to actually create content based on what people need right so we use this a lot um these keywords everywhere it's a free chrome extension so you just add it to your chrome um and then basically if you just you i think you need to refresh just click good so david he wrote coffee beans hong kong right did you open it yeah. yes so now you can see here well we'll just try to highlight it for you up here you can see it says monthly no, 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 it's searches it's oh sorry volume oh, yeah i can't highlight it i'm really not great Okay, there you go. So you can see this part that I highlighted now says volume, it says 480 per month, right? And then it says CPC, which means cost per click. It is if you want to do paid advertising. Oh, good. <laughs> this is if you want to do paid advertising. This is the average cost that um, that people are paying in order to show these ads in front um in front of the other results on google yeah so that means that this is actually a quite good one because it's a it's an okay amount of monthly searches and the cost per click is quite low so this is actually um yeah we should sell coffee in hong kong <laughs> no and the competition is just one so that means that actually this is not a bad um keyword to actually create a blog around this keyword okay now what usually we go down uh, if you can see on the side here it also comes up this sidebar where there is related keywords and also what people are searching for when they search for this keyword up here. Okay, so this is very good to go through as well. You can see, for example, this one has coffee bean shop. It has a higher volume, a much higher volume than the other one. It's also slightly more expensive in the cost per click. Yeah, so usually when you do blogging, it would be organic tra uh, traffic. So actually this this part doesn't really matter in this case because it will be free right but the volume um is quite important and also the competition um so this is quite important to go through here related keywords you can then actually get ideas Let, let's say for example this up here only had 30 searches per month right now that would not maybe be such a good keyword then to start making a blog around because that would be too little uh, monthly searches so what you would do is that you would come down here to the related keywords or even what people also are searching for and you will maybe find some other ideas for keywords that actually has a good search volume and that you can then create your content around based on the, those keywords instead of what you thought people actually would be searching for does yes. that make sense so the reason why we are sharing this is because a blog why do you need a blog because you can find two different strategies in your business. You can go the organic way, you can go the paid, paid way. The paid way is always fastest because it gives you answers quicker. You pay and you get answers, and then you can develop and improve from there. The organic traffic is more for a long-term uh, strategy that will pay off in a, in, in a long in time, yeah. uh, in a long run. And here, is if, you, if you have a business for coffee and you want to establish yourself, for the long run it's great to have both so what you do you create a two similar strategy the parallel strategy one organic where you provide pure content based on uh, what you're selling in this case coffee beans and you start to see what are the keywords that i create and add around that specific keyword that i can pop up in front of the main search here on google okay so most people, when they are looking for something and search for something, I don't use face, Facebook personally. I don't use it at all. I use Google. Everyone, when they need to Google or YouTube, go, that's the Google or YouTube. If I need if I need a longer information, I go on YouTube. I try to find content on YouTube. But if I need uh, something uh, to to have a, an understanding where I can find this, I immediately go to Google because it gives me all the answers. So we also need to understand how our potential customer are behaving, you know, and uh, it's all matter in regards to what you're doing, what you're selling. And yeah. here is an example of coffee. 
So I think, yeah, basically we just wanted to give you an idea about keyword research and about the fact that how you are actually taking a product or service and actually start from that. Yeah. So in this case, we have, we have already SFM, right? So we're selling SFM in our case because we are affiliates. Yeah. And that means that this is our service. Okay. Now we need to find out, okay, fine. How can we put that product in front of the right people based on what people are searching for? Okay, so you can always sell that product. It's kind of like a black ma ma magic box, right? It's a black box. But how do you want to describe the box? You can describe it from so many different angles to, based on what people are saying and based on what people actually need. So FSM can, FS, SFM can be sold as, um, as a freedom thing. It can be sold as a monetizing thing. It can be sold as creating knowledge. a business. It can be sold as, as a knowledge, like so many different angles. You can almost brainstorm and find so many ways to actually sell the same product. Yeah, right? there is, there is uh, members that are here with us from a long time that they're here for the community. Mm -hmm. They want to be feeling part of with of us feeling a part of a community regardless if they're taking massive action or not they feel happy where they are and they see that the environment is like minded people they can always ask a question they can get an answer you know they they feel they like where they are so they want to stay uh, so everyone has their own their own reasons why that's why you need to find a way if you want to promote this fm how can you promote this fm you know, that's the also the other things. The that same you will... thing with coffee. The same thing with your brushes. It's it's always about finding the right angle in order to to sell. Oh, we have less than a minute. Yes. <laughs> Do we have any questions, guys? Otherwise, soon we'll close us down in a minute. Uh, yeah, I've got yeah. one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so so I'm... wait, wait, wait a moment because I'm sure Zoom will call us. Can we uh, log out of the call? And then coming back, everyone. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, Rosie, by the way, welcome to this journey. <laughs> Thanks. Share any share? Um, no problem. Yeah. So, I as I just started the um, the modules yesterday, so um, I just kind of wanted to uh, just kind of ask the question. You know, maybe others are. Um, already decided on their products and all of that and uh i was just wondering did they know themselves when they started out um or had an idea of yeah i kind of like to sell that or you know to create a, a site to sell that product or did it take a period of time before it happened as such great question i think i have someone that can answer <laughs> for me <laughs> I think so. Um, Gina, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Well, um, you should have met me when I when they uh, when I found them uh, because I was so unsure. I'm an actress. Before that, I was doing completely different things. I wasn't a big fan of online world, and I was very confused. That's the truth. And I I was thinking that my um, I have um. I would have more chances in affiliate marketing because I was thinking, oh, I'm an actress. Maybe I can do this interpretation of the, you know, the way I would market the things. But it was difficult for me. And then I uh, switched to products and I am not a painter. I'm interested in singing and acting, but I was never a good painter. Um, but this is something what I'm passionate about selling. I can't paint, but I love um, art. So... I kind of combine the things around what I love and that's how I decided on the brushes. But otherwise I'm telling you, I'm going to decide now on a product, which is going to make me money as well. Um, I'm going to keep on growing the brand with the painting and what my passion is as well. I am still looking into affiliate marketing as well. And I keep on learning marketing in general. So yeah, don't worry if you don't know what you're going to do, take your time uh, and you will find it. I guarantee you keep on coming with the David and Caroline. They helped me so much at the beginning, even with, you know, conversations, telling them this is very difficult for me or I don't know what's going on, everything. So don't don't but, worry about this. Uh, Jenna, uh, allow me to ask you, was it, um, how was that in, term, in terms of support from the SFM, right? because you were going into the import expert journey. How was also the, their kind of support in terms of 
uh, finding the product yet yeah, they, because they have their own challenge, which I, I, I haven't go through at all. You are the one who went through. So you are the, actually the one who can answer the most on this, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically now import experts, they have a higher um, level of education, which is accelerate, I think, or now, you know, the, the, the new modules. Yes. Because in import experts, they will teach you everything from step one to step hundred, but they will not do the research for you on your products. You need to find your products yourself. They'll show you different, so different softwares where you can do the research as now you did guys show us with the keywords. Um, they are these softwares for, for products where you can re research your product, but you have to have a knowledge on how actually product research works. Uh, because it's not that simple with these softwares. The whole world is researching the products through Jungle Scout, Helium 10, and all these softwares. Um, and they will, not, they will not make the research for you, but they will point you to directions and tell you, okay, this, forget about this product if it's some, something which is very difficult niche. Um, so you have to be prepared to do your work yourself with the product research. Mm -hmm. Great, great, fantastic answer. Thank you. And in my, I also remember we were having other members that went into Amazon as well, and uh, they were highly recommend to start with one product, and uh, always to, uh, if you can, after you do the research, to find a product that is in line with your interest and passion. But as just Gina say. You need to find you, you need to have a plan where you go okay if i'm able to send 10 product in the next three years i'm gonna able to have three that keep on selling and give me the base and then i got the other seven that they are actually my interest so they, they still need to do well but not as well as the baseline where the one that keep providing the the main income right so this yes. is uh, what I, I generally r recommend. And uh, I remember they also said something about to not start up with electronics, to not start up with liquids. Uh, so they give you guidelines on which type of products to go with, which type of products to not go with, <laughs> because either because it's too difficult or like not too difficult. What I mean is too many things can go wrong. Right now, when you are a beginner, you of course want to go with the more secure way possible in order to get up started, understand the system, uh, like get the whole thing ball rolling. And then from there, you will always be able to do basically anything. Um, but I think that what is very important is to first of all, go through the, those modules because actually through module two, you will go through everything about why you're here, why you're doing it. Um, who you are and who you want to become and also um how can i say create basically a business based on who you are and what you want to present to the world and how you want to help other people and i think that this is very important because when we came into sfm we came in we are professional ballroom dancers and very competitive <laughs> of nature and we just we just came in here we just thought oh we just gotta smash smack the, everything and we're gonna win between all of the people in the community mm. you know like we thought we were like against everyone <laughs> right so <laughs> so we, a, we just, i'm gonna show you how i change yeah. everything <laughs> Very, so this is how we were, right? Very poor mindset. Very, very limited, very limited, limited mindset. And and it's funny now when we think about it, but actually it it made us have this longer journey towards actually understanding why we're here. And because we were not opening it up to people. We were not asking questions to the community. We were not uh, joining the webinars. We just thought, you know what? Fuck what everybody says. We do it our way. And we, you know, we were like that. Very, and, very young and wild and with, without, yeah. Yeah, without the uh, ability to even listen sometimes, yes. which is great, but not at the same time. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's why I say this has been a tremendous journey for us. We have yeah. changed a lot. And most importantly, our what, what is inside here. Yeah. This is what is changing between success and, and hard failure. work. <laughs> not necessarily no, not failure. failure but yeah, hard not work. Just making your life more hard than more what hard it actually than could more actually be. yes yeah, I, we, I came here in sfm by not wanting another nine to five job i came here to optimize the way of business right i i, I wanted to find a way of 
uh, uh, al alternative ways of doing business. And online was the vehicle that will serve me for a long time because I want to have the freedom of geographical freedom and financial freedom. And it will give me time freedom. So that was the everything that SFM provided in a nutshell it is why I choose to go with them all the way through and still here after three years, because I strongly believe that can serve the right people, cannot serve everyone, but can yeah. serve the right people. And if you're able to find the right people, then you're the perfect match for help them really change their life. Mm. Because I, I, I'm going to travel, and I still cannot believe it, next Wednesday to Italy. <laughs> and it gives me so much peace of mind that I'm able to travel. I'm not going to work in terms of my, my own uh, daily job, which Our teaching. teaching uh, teach. I'm not going to do anything of that. I'm going to focus primarily on our preparation for a tournament and I still be able to do this with a laptop on the other side of the world being with my family so it is it is something that I need to thank them for allowing me to acquire those skills mm. because at the end of the day I was one choice away one single choice would I either make it a big change where I put myself in the game I open my mind and says okay I'm here to change myself Show me the way I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes. And here it is. But it's also my way of approaching things. There are members coming in that they want money. Yes, we all come in for a reason, for money. But it's a very short-term and poor mindset to approach the whole journey. Because you will not get uh, money next week. You will not either maybe next, next month, next year. It all depends on how you approach the journey. Mm -hmm. So choosing the right things, and, the, and especially for people that are going through the modules, take your time to understand why you're here. A lot of questions that they have been asked in the modules, they have let me think a lot, not only the why I'm doing as a fan, even while I'm, I'm doing all what I'm doing in my life. Even our dancing career. Even our dancing career. Yeah. Why I'm nice here on the other goals. side of the world and keep doing what I assume I love? Do I really love what I'm doing? Question yourself. It's very important mm. because put yourself in a perspective where you start to listen to yourself and only you can find the answer, no one else. Mm. You know, And we've, sometimes we are putting into life, into a project, trajectory of life from what other people suggest or what tell other people you, tell you what to yeah. do. And we really put aside ourselves until we, we realize it too late sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I actually have one thing I just wanted sorry, to, to say about that, um, which now I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, but, um, oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I will get to it if yes, it's important. But uh, anyway, Rosie, is, is it? Ah, is, yes, I remember. Good. So it's about not also <laughs> rushing it. Um, so what I mean with that is that you have to understand this is a long-term game okay and this is a life-changing game we are in okay now if you rush into something choosing oh i want to i want to either sell this product or this service and you put so much time and effort into it because you think that this is this will make you happy then forget about it it will not right so you have to first understand who you are what you want and what you want which type of service or product that you want to monetize in the long run because like david has said it might not be that it's next month or two months or one year that but it might be that it will take you five years because if you have to create like our client who does the property business he started one year ago okay but he has to create a whole SFM structure actually from scratch, right? It doesn't take one year, it takes maybe five years. But if he went in with the, with the mindset of, okay, this is something I just wanna quickly monetize. I wanna make a quick a course and then I, I like, that's it. That wouldn't fulfill him first of all, but also that he, if he went in with that mindset today, he would have already given up, but he's not. He knows that this is a long time process. This is a long game that he decided on doing. Now, creating a whole platform and a whole course with sourcing agents and all of these things, that's maybe maybe not what you want to do. It's not what I want to do for sure, yeah. but that's what he want to do, right? <laughs> so this is, this is also very important. This is what he want to do. He does it. He loves it, okay? Now, I, do, I wouldn't want that. I want to monetize and help 
people who, who have the right mindset to earn money, to create the life and help them with the questions that they have along the way. Yeah, so this is a different thing. Gina want to sell brushes because she loves to help people who, who uh, wants to purchase brushes or paint with their kids or whatever. So what I mean, what I'm trying to say is that don't rush into choosing one thing because you think that that thing will make you happy or that thing will give you money tomorrow. Okay. The, the approach is important yes. in, in general, a big time. And if you think about, right, in life, we study, we are lucky to go to university and you choose a, a path that you want to go with, right? How many times I have seen and often people arriving through their journey that they have been studying five years, they are finally go, they are ready to jump into a work where they can earn money. They have been studying five years to get into a job that then they hate. How frustrating this can be in life if you start this journey in the wrong way. You know, it's it's the same kind of approach. Do I really want to do this? Do I I'm, I'm do I I'm really dedicated to do affiliate marketing or e-commerce? Why affiliate marketing is powerful? Why we are still doing today? Because it takes a lot of little time in my week. And it can be, give a bigger rewards than any nine to five job can ever give you. Let's put it in, into perspective. If we only did SFM now, we would actually work one hour a day ish, something like that. Yeah. Because we literally only do this week. We only did, we only did the bare minimum. That means a few emails, checking the campaigns and then answer mm. to any questions and having our, this, this call with you guys. So how, how many hours in one week is that almost nothing right but of course we also three years down the line so we didn't do that on day one right we had yeah. a lot of things to do a lot of things to learn and all of these things but if we only did sfm our work we, we our work week would be very little okay now we also do our dancing because it's our passion we also do still teaching because we love it yeah then we also have a digital agency because we want to expand and we want to learn even more Right. And then I have my my website agency now because I love the creativity based with it, like all these designs. Like, I don't know, I just love that side of it. Right. So why not monetize that as well? So what I'm trying to say is that find something which you like doing, because like this, you will also enjoy it four the years journey. down the line, yes. five years down yes. the line, 10 years down the line. And of course, you can always change. But what I'm saying is just don't don't jump into something because you think that that will be uh, changing your life because it probably won't. You have to change from within and then yeah. you will find your way. That was I have a question for Jen. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, she, she is uh, venturing into, you know, brushes and, uh, you know, business with brushes and all that. Is she design? Are you designing your own brushes or how, 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 how are you getting in, in, in with it? Um, so the, the, this brand, which I have in my mind, is still not registered, but it's going to be registered. Let's say it's going to be for brushes and paints and canvas and other things which you can develop your talents if you want to or your children or whoever. Mm. I bought the brushes ready from a China, from a fabric. Mm. I made the design of the boxes. I made the labels myself. I, I was trying to make everything myself, but you don't need to do everything yourself. You can get people from um, artistic websites. They will do mm. it cheap for you. Mm. And I, um, I made the whole design of the, of the brushes and the cards inside, and I'm selling them as my product. But I haven't created the, you know, I've chosen the colors. It's white and black, very simple. Mm very simple product and the quality um, they are not expensive but um, the reviews which I have from the people they say very nice brushes for this what we've purchased so they happy. so when you're purchasing uh, uh, this is just a I'm just a little bit curious so when you're making like a purchase like this maybe from China is it like a big purchase or you just start with a, a limited number or um, so I personally started small because I've seen many people buying a lot of products, not knowing how to advertise them and what the whole Amazon game is. And they just losing money. I didn't have that much money when I started. I got only 150 sets of the brushes. 
um, you can go for 200, but now even in import experts, they will advise you to do a trial with your product. So you buy 100, you see how they're selling. If I see I'm selling 10 a day, I'm going to buy 1,000, but otherwise, mm. no. No, oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's very inspiring. Thank you so much for answering the questions. <laughs> Great. You're very welcome. Great. So, guys, it's maybe lovely. Gina, maybe we need you to have like a Q and A call for <laughs> all the curious questions about import export. I think that could be cool that one day. If anyone is interested, yes, no worries. I, I, as as much as I know, I'm happy to, you know, guys, because you yeah. saved you saved me. So for anyone who doesn't know, they saved me when I started my journey because I was very <laughs> overwhelmed and I was confused and I didn't know what's going on. So I'll be always grateful for this. And I'm super <laughs> happy you guys are so inspired and still be, every day is like, I'm checking your Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, okay, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, really good thank you, Jenna. It's so lovely to hear these words. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but there is a purpose behind. That's why we're still here. Three yeah. years down the line. Um, however, uh, Anyone last, having last any few questions, questions before we wrap the call. Uh, I just have one more question. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, more, you go. Uh, uh, Genevieve, just one more question to you. Did you have to go to China yourself or was it all online and selecting this product? Rosie, um, I think years ago they would go to China on these big markets. But this year, even the biggest markets were online. You could literally uh, go virtually on a big market and check products and and do this no one goes now to china you have this big website um where you can find your suppliers there are two or three big websites where you register and you find suppliers from usually from china but there are some from india as well from bangladesh from different countries so you don't need to um the only thing which is going to be um important for you is to have a good um, relationship with the suppliers to check if these people are answering you on time, you know, how are they delivering the information to you so you can trust them when they're going to send you the products, this is going to be the same product and as well, if you decide to go in this journey, you will see that they have invented everything there is someone who can go and check your products there, there is someone who can take the pictures and send you a report what the problems of the products are so this journey has they have invented every single thing if you would go for the journey so you don't need to worry okay. wow. <laughs> that's great actually to share this i remember when i joined sfm they were having uh, trips involved uh, to one go to that yeah one is very near hong kong actually yeah, it's but before just before across corona, the border yeah before corona you could go within one and a half hour or two mm -hmm. uh, by by train uh, very easily and they have every year this big big huge uh, fair yeah. fair i think you call it fair, fair? It, yeah fair. market anyway yeah, yeah. fantastic mm -hmm. i mean you, you, it it takes they they were planning a week of travel where you spend 5 days only research inside their products because mm -hmm. it's a huge it's in, in, immense so it takes days to 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 discover this but Thanks to COVID, uh, no yeah, one actually. is allowed to actually go. And thanks to that, everything starts to be more, open, easy. more easy and more open online for, for everyone. Mm. Um, the, uh, I know that some of our uh, members that are, they are also in Hong Kong, they have been also asked the Chinese supplier to send a test so to they Hong could Kong. see and they could touch to Hong Kong. So they could see and say, okay, if there's anything wrong with something we want to change before we launch it and so on. So it was very easy. They told me it was very simple and great. And the, as Jenna says, you need to find the right communication. They had a middleman, I remember. They had yeah, one they had contact the, that spoke mm -hmm. English very well. Yeah. Yeah. And so. what we don't want is to, uh, we want to avoid sur surprises. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I order a, a, a dog things and they come for, for, a, for a horse <laughs> or for a fish. You know, we don't want that. So... <laughs> That's why we need to make sure that... And that can very, actually, very easily happen because it's channel we're talking yes, about. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Anything can happen. So, yes, yeah. we have experienced that yeah. as well. Especially traveling there, yeah. But so, anyway, guys, 
Um, nice I hope to we have answered you. all the questions. Great to speak with you um, today. And I really hope that you're going to take the best out of every call. And we're going to be here every 14 days, Sunday. If we have any change, uh, we're going to inform you through email. So keep an eye on that. And uh, we will going to be in European time from next week. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Exciting time. So uh, stay safe, everyone. Have a good Sunday and talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.